Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Kedamba, lecture number 2. Uh, before uh, this lecture, I had discussed the basic concept uh, about the complex number. And in this lecture, we are going to discuss some more characteristics and properties of complex number. So, uh, we are going to discuss today about the conjugate of complex number. So, conjugate of complex number. Conjugate of complex number complex number conjugate of complex number what is conjugate and why it is called conjugate isn't it so conjugate of complex number age uh, if say if z is equal to a plus iota b be any complex number complex number then conjugate of z conjugate of complex number z complex number z is denoted by denoted by z conjugate z bar and is defined as defined as z bar is equal to a minus iota b. So, if there is a plus iota b, be any complex number, then a minus iota b will be its conjugate. That is to find conjugate, conjugate of complex number, conjugate, replace iota by minus iota, iota by minus iota. This is what you have to do everywhere to find conjugate of complex number you know replace iota by minus iota so that will come like uh, suppose there is a z is equal to z is equal to 3 minus 4 iota then z conjugate must be 3 plus 4 iota if z is equal to minus 2 plus 3 iota then z conjugate will be minus 2 minus 3 iota. If z is equal to 3 plus 7 iota, then z conjugate will be 7 minus 3 minus 7 iota, like this. So, these are conjugates. What I did here, that every time I replace iota by minus iota, no change in real number. So, remember, there is no change in, there is no change in real part in a real part right so only there is a change in what imaginary part and what are the change by negative of that so called conjugate now there are some characteristics of this two z is equal to a plus iota b and z conjugate is a minus iota b where a and b are b are any real numbers any real numbers remember b is a real number but iota b is an imaginary so that is why um, we, i am writing here b so b is a real number now z plus z conjugate is equal to what z plus z conjugate is equal to then it will be iota b iota b cancel and what will be that 2a that is purely real number purely real number and if I will find z minus z conjugate, then what will happen? A sign will change, a, a cancel and this will be 2 iota b, 2 b iota. That is purely an imaginary number, imaginary number. So, z plus z conjugate and z minus z conjugate is purely real or purely imaginary. Now, what will be? product of this z into z conjugate z into z conjugate will be a plus iota b and a minus iota b what is that a square minus iota b whole square that will be a square minus iota square b square you know iota square is what minus 1 and therefore 
if we put minus 1 minus minus plus that will be a square plus b square. So remember z into z conjugate is a is a real number which is a real number. So z into z conjugate is a real number. Therefore z into z conjugate is always a real number. A real number. Right now z into z conjugate is a real number. Now there is another term um, that is uh, if we have to divide the two complex number suppose z divided by z conjugate then what will happen a plus iota b divided by a minus iota b like this then we will multiply iota b multiply by conjugate of denominator anywhere if there is such thing then we will multiply by conjugate of denominator why conjugate of denominator because denominator z multiply by its conjugate will be a real number and denominator must be a real number. So if a plus iota b a plus iota b that will be a square plus b a square iota square plus 2 a b iota isn't it and that will be a square plus b a square. So z upon z conjugate we will write z upon z conjugate will be what what will come that will be a square and iota square here is minus 1 so a square minus b square a square minus b square plus 2 a b iota and divided by what is that z into z conjugate is a square b square so that will be finally a square b minus b square upon a square plus b square plus 2ab upon a square plus b square iota. So z upon z conjugate is like this. So it means uh, that will lead to give the concept of division of two complex number as well. So whenever we have to divide two complex number that is division of two complex number complex numbers right how to divide two complex numbers so to divide two complex numbers what i can write suppose uh, we will multiply by conjugate of its denominator so suppose uh, i have z1 is equal to 2 plus 3 iota and z2 is equal to 4 plus 5 iota if i want z1 divided by z2 then what will come 2 plus 3 iota divided by 4 plus 5 iota end it so we can write it multiply by conjugate of whom conjugate of denominator that is 4 minus 5 iota 4 plus 5 iota conjugate is 4 minus 5 iota so we can multiply by 4 minus 5 iota what will come that will be here uh, 2 multiply by 4 will be 8, isn't it? That will be 8 and 2 multiply by 5 is minus 10 iota and 4, 3 is 12 iota and 3 multiply by 5 plus minus minus 3, 5 is 15 and iota multiply by iota is iota square and that iota square will be plus 1, minus 1, so it will be plus 1. Now a plus iota b, a minus iota b is a square plus b square we have learned it a plus iota b a minus iota b is j square b square plus b square so 15 plus 8 is 23 12 iota minus 10 iota is 2 iota divided by 25 plus 16 is 41 so i can write 41 here and 41 here and that will be a plus iota b form so we can divide like this i hope you got it Similarly, if suppose you have to divide z2 by z1, then what will you write? If you have to find z2 by z1, then in similar fashion, we will write 4 plus 5 iota divided by 2 plus 3 iota, isn't it? And what you need to write? 4 plus 5 iota divided by 2 plus 3 iota and we will have to multiply by conjugate of denominator. That is 2 minus 3 iota and 2 minus 3 iota. So, what will come finally? We will 
it will finally come here 4 multiply by 2 is 8 4 multiply by minus 3 is minus 12 iota 5 multiply by 2 is plus 10 iota and 5 multiply by 3 is minus 15 iota square whole divided by 2 square minus 3 iota whole square a plus b a minus b that will be 8 minus 2 iota and iota square is minus 1 so it will be 15 divided by 4 plus 9 why 9 because 3 square is 9 and iota square is minus 1 so it will be plus now 15 plus 8 is 23 now the things will come 23 and 4 plus 9 is 13 plus minus there is a negative sign minus 2 iota upon 13 and that will be answer so z1 by z2 is something different and z2 by z1 is something different i hope you got it how to divide two complex number wherever there is a complex number in which in denominator there is an imaginary number we will multiply by its conjugate i hope you got it right now in numerator as well as in denominator now there is another term which i would like to discuss that is called inverse of inverse of multiplicative inverse say the full name is multiplicative multiplicative inverse of a complex number complex number multiplicative inverse of a complex number and what is that multiplicative inverse so multiplicative inverse of any complex number z right so if z be any complex number if z be any complex number complex number then multiplicative inverse duplicative inverse of inverse of z is denoted as as 1 by z why it is called multiplicative inverse because if we multiply z into 1 by z then that will be 1 and 1 is nothing else but identity element identity element of complex number so z multiply by 1 by z multiply by z is 1 and 1 is an identity element therefore we can say multiplicative inverse of a complex number is 1 by z so now for example if i have z is equal to 2 minus 3 iota i have this number 2 minus 3 iota and i want to find multiplicative inverse of this find i can write as a question just for example um, question find multiplicative multiplicative inverse of inverse of 4 minus 3 iota like this any number can be written so solution will be like solution will be like multiplicative inverse of multiplicative inverse of 4 minus 3 iota is 1 equal to 1 upon 4 minus 3 iota and because in denominator there is an imaginary number so we will multiply by its conjugate 4 minus 3 iota conjugate of 4 minus 3 iota is 4 plus 3 iota so we will multiply numerator as well as denominator so that will be 4 plus 3 iota divided by 4 square minus 3 iota whole square simply you can write a plus iota v and a minus iota v is a square plus b square so we can write it 4 plus 3 iota is equal to 16 plus 9 that is 25 so it can be write, written as 4 upon 25 plus 3 upon 25 iota that will be answer of this question 
So multiplicative inverse of 4 plus 3 iota, 4 minus 3 iota is 1 upon 4 minus 3 iota. Nothing else, just reciprocal of that, 4 minus 3 iota. Uh, one more example I would like to discuss. Find multiplicative inverse of multiplicative inverse of inverse of 2 plus 3 iota upon minus 3 plus 2 iota like this. Isn't it? So we have a expression given here minus 3 plus 2 iota. Right? So this is question. So we have write a reciprocal of to find multiplicative inverse. Therefore, solution is like this. Multiplicative inverse of inverse of 2 plus 3 iota upon minus 3 plus 2 iota each. Just reciprocal of this. Reciprocal of this will be minus 3 plus 2 iota divided by 2 plus 3 iota. But we don't want to see in denominator and imaginary number. So we will have to multiply by its conjugate only. So to simplify them, we can write 3 plus 2 iota divided by 2 plus 3 iota multiply by 2 minus 3 iota and 2 minus 3 iota conjugate. Okay. So what will happen? In that case, the product in numerator will be minus 3 multiply by 2 is minus 6, minus 3 multiply by minus 3 iota is 9 iota, 2 iota multiply by 2 is 4 iota and 2 iota multiply by this is minus 6 iota square, full divided by in denominator a plus iota b, a minus iota b. So a square plus b square, we have already discussed this property of conjugate. Now this will be minus 6 plus 13 iota, 9 iota plus 4 iota is 13 iota and iota square is minus 1 so it would be plus 6 divided by 4 plus 9. So 6 and minus 6 become 0 and what is left there? 13 iota divided by 13 and 13 iota divided by 13 is iota. So multiplicative inverse of all this is just iota nothing else. I hope you got it. Now let us discuss some questions uh, from the exercise, uh, exercise watch 5.1 in it. and we are going to discuss from 11 and onwards. We had discussed 1 to 10 in previous lecture and this question it is written, find multiplicative inverse in each of the following complex number, find multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse in each of the following complex number, following complex number, right, this is what we have. So the first question which is given here is 4 minus 3 iota. So multiplicative inverse of multiplicative inverse inverse of inverse of 4 minus 3 iota is equal to 1 upon 4 minus 3 iota. So further it can be multiplied by uh, conjugate of complex number and so what will happen? 4 plus 3 iota. Multiply with this 4 minus 3 iota multiply by 4 plus 3 iota. So what will happen? That will be 4 plus 3 iota divided by conjugate is 4 square plus 3 square, a square plus b square. That is 4 plus 3 iota upon 25. That means 4 by 25 plus 3 by 25 iota. Right? That will be the answer. For second question, uh, which is given here is root 5 plus 3 iota, root 5 plus 3 iota. This is question number 12, not 
one or two, but eleven or twelve. So this is question number eleven, and this one is question number twelve. Right? So twelve is there. Question number twelve. So multiplicative inverse of five plus root three iota. Multiplicative inverse in sort we can write multi a mi a mi means multiplicative inverse of five uh, root five plus three iota is nothing else is equal to one upon root five plus three iota. Isn't it? One upon root five plus three iota. And what we have to do? We have to multiply by its conjugate. So root five plus three iota multiply by root five minus three iota. And root five minus three iota. So what will happen? That will happen like a root under five minus three iota, and it will be under root five square plus three square. So that will be under root five. This will be five plus nine is fourteen minus three upon fourteen iota. Thirteen question is minus iota. So multiplicative inverse of Multi inverse of multiplicative inverse of inverse of minus iota is equal to one upon minus iota, and to simplify them, minus iota we multiply by its conjugate that is plus iota. So what will happen? In numerator it will be iota. It will be minus iota square and iota square is minus one, so it will be plus one. And what is that? Iota. So multiplicative inverse of minus iota is iota. I hope you got it. Okay. Now the next uh, one more question is there, and what is that? Question is express the following. Question number fourteen. Express the following. Express the following expression in form of a plus iota b. Expression in form of in form of a plus iota b, and the expression is three plus root five into three minus iota root five. And here is also iota divided by. Root three plus root two iota minus root three minus iota root two. This is what the expression is given. Now, for this, uh, there is a solution. Solution is we can multiply. Uh, this is conjugate, so three square plus root under five square. Using z into z conjugate is equal to a square b square, isn't it? Where z is equal to a plus iota b, isn't it? So we have multiplied this. Now in denominator it will be root three plus root two iota minus root three plus root two iota. So root three root three cancel, and what is that? Nine plus five. Divided by root two plus root two is two root two iota. But the work is not completed. Why? Because in denominator there is an iota, and we don't want to see iota in denominator. So we'll multiply by iota in numerator as well as in denominator. Isn't it? Or even minus iota. You can write it. Just imaginary number. Uh, conjugate two root two. We can multiply also. There is no problem. So if we multiply by minus iota in denominator and numerator, iota conjugate is minus iota. So we can multiply this. Nine plus five is fourteen. So minus fourteen iota will be there, and this iota multiply by this, it will be minus two root two iota square, and iota square is minus one. So that will be. Um, 
टू रूट टू पॉजिटिव सो माइनस फोर्टीन आयोटा दैट विल बी माइनस फोर्टीन आयोटा अपॉन टू रूट टू पॉजिटिव टू कैन कैंसिल दें सेवेन टाइम्स सो सेवेन आयोटा अपॉन रूट टू आल्सो रूट टू इज डिनोमिनेटर यू कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस बट इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई बाय रूट टू इन नोमिनेटर एज वेल एज इन डिनोमिनेटर सो दिस विल कम एंड दैट विल बी जीरो बिकॉज वी हैव टू राइट इन फॉर्म ऑफ जीरो प्लस आयोटा भी सो जीरो माइनस सेवन रूट टू बाय टू आयोटा दिस विल बी द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो आई होप यू गोट इट एजेंट इट यस ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट we want to uh, do in this exercise this exercise is been completed and i hope uh, you understand it what is this um, conjugate of complex number and multiplicative inverse of complex number and how to deal with multiplicative inverse of complex number so hopefully you have enjoyed it it is a two easy chapter you can do it but uh, remember If you are looking for competitive examinations like J E M A N and Advance, then this chapter is very difficult. There are so many properties and uh, questions on this topic will be very difficult. But for 11th class, it is a very simple topic. The simple practice sessions is there and introductory knowledge is there. So I hope you have enjoyed enjoyed this class and. Uh, learn all the things what we had discussed till now okay so god bless you thank you